Hey, church family, when it comes to the issue of prayer, one of the most difficult challenges is to keep on praying when you don't see anything happening as a result of your prayers. In Luke chapter 11, Jesus gives us these words regarding prayer. And so I tell you, keep on asking, and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking, and you will find it. Keep on knocking, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. I wonder, can you imagine praying for one specific thing for 70 years? That would be an example of praying with persistence. Most theologians agree that Zechariah and Elizabeth were somewhere in their 90s when Luke 1 took place. If they were married in their teens, as most couples were in that day, that means they've been asking God for a child for 60 to 70 years without hearing a yes in response to their prayers. They could have done what many others have done. They could have given up on God and quit. Zechariah, who was, who was a priest, could have said, why should I continue to serve God? What good does it do to be righteous and holy if God's not going to answer my prayer? What good is living for him anyway? A response like that wouldn't be unusual. A lot of people want a relationship with God on their own terms. It's easy to serve God when he gives us what we want. But what about when he doesn't answer? Or what about when his answer is no? What then? Have you ever prayed when it seemed like your prayers don't get any higher than the ceiling? Do you, ever, do you ever pray and it seems like you're talking to yourself? Zechariah and Elizabeth's story in Luke 1 reminds us of this truth. God is always listening, and he hears our every prayer. In Luke 1, verse 13, we read, The angel said, Don't be afraid, Zechariah. God has heard your prayer. Seven decades of praying, and God heard every single word. The good news for you and me is that the same God that heard Zechariah's prayers hears yours today, and he is faithful. And while his answer will not always be yes, that Zechariah received, it will always be what's best. And I pray that we'd be faithful to give all our worries and cares to God, knowing that he cares about us. Amen.